Hello, this is Stephen Humphrey here again with Go Engineer. And today in this video, we're going to learn how to enable the task host configuration tool in PDM so you can run PDM task either on your machine or a server or on another machine. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up your administration tool. Um, here I have my administration tool opened and you can see I have several faults here. In this example, we're going to be working inside the Acme fault. Now, before you can actually go and do the process of enabling your machine to be a host, to be uh, configured as a host to run task, the first thing you're going to want to do is set the permission that enables you to even turn this on in the first place. Um, so in this case, I have a group here uh, called administrators, and I'm going to give that group of users uh, permission to let their machines uh, be selected as a task host. <clears throat> so we'll just quickly open up this group here. Now, bear in mind, you can also do this at the user level, um, but in this particular example, we're just going to set the permission at the group level. So once you're here in your group permissions in the administrative permissions section, You'll see here at the very top, this option uh, or checkbox that says can accept task to execute on a host. So you'll definitely want to have that button or that uh, checkbox checked in this case. Now, before we go down to our uh, tray system tray icons to enable the task host configuration, you want to make sure that you also have the latest SolidWorks task add-in running on your machine. So if you expand the add-ins node here, um, you'll see I already have mine uh, loaded up. But if you don't have this here, you'll want to add it. And so the easiest way to do that is to just go to your vault where uh, on the actual icon for your vault here, right click and do what's called an import. So this is kind of buried deep in the, uh, in the root of your C drive in the program files directory. But if you go program files, C drive, assuming that's where your program files for SOLIDWORKS are installed, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS PDM, um, default data. The easiest way to do this, uh, there's a couple ways to do it, but the way I usually do it is I just open this convert underscore gb.cex file. And once you open that, it's going to give you the option and say, I already have it um, on mine running, but I'm going to say yes. And it's going to import those, right? So in this case, it just imported the convert underscore GB uh, task. But with that, it's going to bring, here we can see we now have the convert task, but it's going to bring the add-in along with it. It's pretty straightforward. From there, we go down to our taskbar and in our tray, taskbar tray um, section here, we have the PDM icon. Go ahead and uh, locate your SOLIDWORKS PDM, you know, Blueberry is what we call it, icon, and right click on this icon and go to the task host configuration option. And here's the window that'll open up. You'll have, uh, if you only have one vault, your vault will probably just pop up by default. Um, but here you can see I have several vaults to choose from. Uh, so let's look at maybe like a vault here um, that I don't have it enabled on. You'll see the permit button, this permit option here to run the SolidWorks task add-in. And you'll see, like I said, that permit option is not checked. Um, and you have the task added in already to your vault. So it's there. If you didn't have the task added in, it, it wouldn't show up, right? So I'm going to go back to my vault. And uh, it looks like it was it, it's checked on. It was I unchecked it, but it's going to remain checked on because I actually already have it enabled and I'm running uh, some task with it. But here you can see once you check it on, now it's enabled. And a quick way to verify that that that's working correctly, um, that convert task that you just imported previously, if you go ahead and open that, um, it's pre-configured to the for the most part uh, to run using that add-in um, but there's some there's still some settings that you'll want to work on and you might need to so here you can see the add-in it's like i said it's pre-configured and it's there by default um, 
don't mind any of these additional items here. This this video is really not a demonstration on how to create and um, execute task. This is just to enable the task configuration tool. Uh, we'll have another video on how to create and um, actually configure tasks themselves. But when you get to the execution method section, it's going to give you the option here. And if you don't have any computers uh, on the server that the server is connected to, that that PDM clients are connected to, you wouldn't see any computers listed here. In this case, since my computer here listed is enabled to as a task host um, machine per the enable uh, process that we just did, it shows here. And then of course, inside this task can, um, properties window here, we can tell the task how we want it to operate. And in this case, I'll say execute on the computer where the task is initiated and I'll select my computer. Um, but as far as getting the task host configuration set up, that's pretty much it. Um, get the add-in imported and open up your task host configuration tool and make sure it's turned on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please join our Facebook groups, like us on Facebook and on YouTube. And as always, thanks for stopping by.